Now that we're keeping track of points, the next thing that makes the most sense to do is to keep track of what level that you're on. So again, we're just going to create a variable, call it level. And this too, we should also show. So let's make this, I'm just going to make my screen a little bit bigger here. I'm just going to put level over in this corner. So we've got points on one side, level on the other side. I think that makes a little bit more sense. And I'll just shrink that back down to see where we're going to set the code. Most people usually would expect to start the game at level one. However, if you're a Kung Fu Panda um, connoisseur like my son is, you would start at level zero. If you've seen the movie, you won't get, get that joke. Um, and then at some points, the level needs to change. And so we can fairly quickly tell that when we touch the finish area, that should be the opportunity to change by one. However, if we made it fairly far into the finish area, then that might change the level by two or three all at once. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until after, there's my change level, I'm going to wait until after the glide before I change the level, because that sort of makes sense that you have to go back to the start line before we say level two or level three or whatever it is. So I don't want that to happen right away. And once we have come back up here, is it possible to go to lose a level if you die? Well, that's really not common. Usually you're just going to go up a level when you reach success. Now, there's other things we can do with level, but for now, let's just keep level simple and easy and stay like that.